So we're here at the Hilton Westchester. We're doing some uh, demos how to cook at the grill at home. Um, we move it to a snapper. I mean, uh, this is a yellowtail snapper. How do you tell? Is a line. Um, this is snappers are caught in two different areas: deep waters or not or shallow waters. Not too shallow, not too deep. Uh, and how you tell is the size by the eye. If you see the eye, it's a pretty nice size. So that means that it, this one is between uh, deep and, and shallow waters. Beautiful filet. It's nice and clean. Eyes still clear. Your filet, when you press it down, it pops back up. Okay. We're gonna stuff this, the snapper with some uh, lemons, herbs. And we're gonna do herb marinade. So, we're gonna start with salt on the inside. Both sides. And we're gonna cut both fillets deep enough and that way it gets cooked evenly. People like to do crust, I like to do only one side, and that way my meat just stays in the fish. Some lemons. We're gonna do a mix of basil and parsley. If you can feed more lemon, more lemons you put in, better flavor you're gonna have. Plus so I'm pushing it, I'm pushing it in, that way I can shape it to have everything inside without pushing the fillets. Herb, marinate, inside and outside. You don't want to put too much in the outside. That way you don't create too much smoke into your grill. Some salt. size. So you want to make sure you find your hottest spot. That way it doesn't stick to the, the grill. So while our fishes get cooked in the grill, we're going to do some uh, finishing sauce for it. Uh, we're going to start off with some garlic. Being, being, it's being minced. Some lemon zest, lime zest, some orange zest. Extra virgin olive oil. Want to have enough of that? Um, thinly sliced chives. Some salt. You can put a little more of extra virgin olive oil. Okay. So we're gonna set that to the side until our snapper gets cooked. Putting all the lemons and the herbs and all the marinade inside the cavity of the fish is going to, uh, all the aromas from all these herbs and lemons are going to get into the flake of the filet. Um, so that's going to enhance a lot of flavor into your fish. You can do this same technique with any kind of small fish. You know, you could do it with branzino, you can do it with striped bass, uh, snapper, 
Any small fish is about two pounds maximum. I would highly recommend the same technique.